lives. And then also we had a um, situation where we were able to take 11 wounded to hospital. What Kenyans should know is actually uh, one could uh, say this situation would have been worse had it not been for the swift intervention of the police and security forces because the quarry workers who go out to a place called Kaleleo during the day and come back at night to spend in this uh, livestock market area live on two quarters. One quarter has about 100 uh, quarry workers and the other one is said to have 50 quarry workers. So in both, there would have been 150 people. Uh, so luckily that, uh, as sad as it is, 14 lost their lives, one local and uh, three Kenyans from uh, what they would call down country Kenya, uh, 13, sorry, 13 and one, which is 14 dead and 11 wounded. We know now efforts are being made to bring both the wounded and dead bodies to Nairobi. Uh, we have been coordinating with the government, mm -hmm. and uh, Red Cross has sent an ambulance to go and pick the nine wounded back to Nairobi, and then uh, the government, I'm aware, is organizing to send a military plane to bring the dead bodies to Nairobi. All right. Um, Abbas, I'm sure you may have uh, an indication of what sort of injuries uh, had, are, are you, uh, do we have so far? Well, the injured, of the injured 11, we were told early this morning by the medical people on the ground that four were seriously wounded, and of course there were gunshot wounds apart from the grenade attack. So these would be gunshot wounds that need evacuation uh, for them to get better care and treatment here in Nairobi. That's why we are hoping to bring them to Kenyatta National Hospital where there are more specialized uh, equipment and doctors who then can treat these wounded uh, Kenyans. Okay, and uh, what was the response time for the Red Cross from the time the attack took place? I would say, first of all, the initial response time both from the government and Red Cross was within the first 10 minutes to 15 minutes. And that's what I was saying earlier. Had it not been for the swift intervention of the security forces that have been patrolling this whole town of Mandera at night, the, 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 the situation would have been far greater than what we have seen. So to say even one life is lost in that, but had it not been for the swift action, then more would have lost their lives. The wounded one would have lost their lives if they were not taken to hospital immediately, where then the county medical team was also on the ground to assist them overnight until now this morning. Okay, we do know that Red Cross is involved in a lot of rescue missions like these. And what would your comments be? Has, has, has the response time from the government side improved drastically? Well, I would say, and I repeat again, had it not been for the swift intervention of the police forces and the military and other security agencies, by virtue of these two quarters where the quarry workers were living, the death toll would have been much, much higher. We are talking about 150 people living in these two quarters. Now, one life loss is that. Yes, we know 14 people lost their lives, one local lady and 13 quarry workers. But I would say this time was much swifter. There's already a plane to go and bring the wounded. There's a plane being sent to bring the dead bodies. So I'm sure there are learnings that have been taken into now by virtue of what we have seen in Garissa and other places prior to that. All right. Do we know how many are being airlifted to uh, Nairobi for uh, further treatment? We will know this shortly, but the number could go up to nine. Originally, there were four that need clear emergency intervention in Nairobi, but the others, I'm told, who are not that seriously injured are also saying they rather come to Nairobi and have their injuries treated. So we will pick as all the nine that need to be picked will be brought to Nairobi. All right. Thank you very much, Abbas Goulet. That's Abbas Goulet, the Secretary General for Red Cross, bringing us up to speed with uh, what uh, we have on the ground. And uh, he definitely is um, saying that if it had not been for the response, quick response for the Red Cross and also the security forces, then we certainly uh, would have lost more lives. Of course, losing one life is already one.